with the electrical, again, sometimes you will be encouraged to shut the electric power off. Sometimes you'll be encouraged to leave the power on, uh, particularly if we're concerned about sump pumps or um, heat to the house, we may end up leaving the electricity on. But if, if we are encouraged to shut the, the power off, we need to know how to locate that electrical box and shut the power off if that is necessary. If we are not familiar with where the electrical box is within the house, one way to, to narrow down where to look in the house for that electrical box would be to look at where the electric power comes into the house. In this case, we have underground wiring. It comes up into a meter and then goes down into the lower level or into the basement. And so we would expect then to look for the electrical box in that portion of the house right below this area. Okay, now we're down in the basement and the power will come in from outdoors uh, and into what is typically referred to as an electrical panel. Uh, hopefully most of you will know where that is, but as we indicated previously, looking outdoors helps you find it inside. Okay, so then what you need to do is to open the electrical panel. It's also referred to as a circuit box because we have all of the circuits for the home with each circuit protected by or controlled by a circuit breaker. If we're going to be shutting the power off for the whole house, what you look for is typically at the top in the panel and it'll be a master switch that you will take and move from on to off and then that will shut the power off to the entire house. Sometimes though, uh, you may have a sump pump or other uh, equipment that needs to be left on, but you want to shut off uh, the majority of the electrical circuits. And so then you would go in and individually shut off the circuit breakers to those circuits, leaving just the, the circuits on. For example, this one says sump which it goes to the, the sump pump in the, in the house. And you would leave that on, or you may leave uh, a circuit on to the furnace if it's cold and you need to keep the house warm. So you'll make the decision as to whether to shut off the whole house or the individual circuits, depending on the recommendations of the local authorities uh, or what your situation is. Uh, again, if you want the sump pump on, you'd need to leave the, the main disconnect energized, shut off the rest of the circuits, and leave the sump pump energized so that it keeps moving that water away from the house. But again, go according to the recommendations of your local authorities. <laughs>